Mike Joseph, preseason central here on the campus of Lafayette College, and we're talking football as we get closer to the opener down at Monmouth, down the shore in a couple weeks. So I'm here right now with running back co co coach Josh Zeidenberg. Josh, you're, you're here on campus. I mean, you got to be having a good time and, and getting back into football. It's always exciting when, you know, summer camp starts back up and things get going. Uh, this is this is the part we really love to do as coaches is get back on the field, get around the players, and uh, start building what we're, we're hoping will be a, a really strong and really good 2017 season. Yeah, and you come from some big programs. Tell me your first impression when you walked on campus here at Lafayette about the facilities, the kids. What kind of overwhelmed you a little bit because it is overwhelming? It, it is a little bit coming from, you know, the different spots I've been in. I've been at some, some great places, but when I stepped on campus here and saw the setup and facilities here, I was I was blown away for sure. Um, top notch I, I, has to be one of the tops in, in FCS football, I believe, from what I've seen, and and just excited and, and a great area as a whole. And the community has been great and very open and and accepting for my wife and I. And so we're just glad and happy to be here. Great. Let's talk a little bit of football now. Um, you have a good stable of running backs coming back. You have some young kids that Lafayette brought in. Uh, tell me a little bit. You don't have to mention anybody by name, but well, what do you feel is going to be good about them? And and are we are we getting into the holes? Are we getting out of the holes? Are we catching the ball out of the backfield? We're doing a lot of great things. I've been I've been more than pleased with the the group that I inherited. Um, here and then with the two freshmen that came in, we have a good, strong stable of backs that I feel confident with any one of them going in the game at any time. Um, they all have, you know, unique talents that they're that they're, you know, excel at. But all around as a unit, we have we have a back that can basically do anything that we would need it to do and need him to do. So it's really exciting, and 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 we have good leadership as well as a whole, um, and a good diversity with different things that we may want to do offensively. We have a lot of weapons and a lot of ways that we can utilize and uh, and exploit teams with our backs. And a a lot of people don't understand, but the backs are involved not only obviously running the football, but in protection as well. And that is a big part of it. So having that experience, is that a little bit tougher sometimes with a young guy getting them to understand protections and being in the right spot? Certainly. That's that's what I think more of the emphasis has to be on um, when you get to this level because most of them are coming from from probably places where they just toted the rock all the time and, and scored touchdowns and got their name in the paper. But but the backs that typically really excel in advance are the ones who take a lot of pride in their pass protection and knowing their pass pro um, because you have to be reliable as a pass protector if you want to be able to get the ball because if you can't pass pro, then you can't get in the game because we got to keep the quarterback upright. Wonderful. Thanks for a couple minutes. Really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me.